Hi everyone. Today the topic is chemical potential as a criteria of phase equilibrium. Consider a closed system which consists of two phases in equilibrium. Within this closed system, each of the individual phases is an open system free to transfer mass to one from one phase to the other phase. For each phase, d of ng power alpha is equal to nv power alpha dp minus ns power alpha dt plus sigma i mu i power alpha d n i power alpha. Similarly, for the other phase, d of ng power beta is equal to nv power beta dp minus ns power beta into dt plus sigma i mu i power beta into d n i power beta. So here alpha and beta identify the phases. G is a Gibbs energy, V is the volume, S is the entropy. As you already know P and T are the pressure and temperature. N is the number of moles and mu i is the term chemical potential. So for the total system we can write the property by an equation as nm is equal to nm power alpha plus nm power beta. That means total system property is a combination of the properties of the two phases. So nm power alpha plus nm power beta. Then we can write the above equations by combining as d of ng is equal to NVDP minus NSDT plus sigma i mu i power alpha d n i power alpha plus sigma i mu i power beta d n i power beta. Since the two phase system is a closed system, d of ng is equal to NVDP minus NSDT. So when we compare this equation, and the above equation, we can write the equation as sigma i mu i power alpha d n i power alpha plus sigma i mu i power beta d n i power beta is equal to 0. So, for the mass conservation, d n i power alpha is equal to minus d n i power beta. Then equation becomes sigma i mu i power alpha minus mu i power beta into d n i power alpha is equal to 0. That means by substitution of d n i power alpha is equal to minus d n i power beta in the above equation, we get this equation. So each term in the parentheses is separately to be 0 since d n i power alpha are independent and arbitrary. Hence, we can write the above equation as mu i power alpha is equal to mu i power beta where i is equal to 1, 2 and so on capital M. M is the number of species present in the system. Then, generalizing for more than two phases, the result for five phases can be written as mu i power alpha is equal to mu i power beta, which is equal to, and so on, which is equal to mu i power pi, where i then is equal to 1, 2, and so on, n. So, pi is the number of phases. So, multiple phases at the same temperature and pressure or in equilibrium when the chemical potential of each species is the same in all phases. So chemical potential must be same in all phases. Then we can say the multiple phases are in equilibrium. So this equation is applied to specific phase equilibrium problems. So based on these equations, we can evaluate different phase equilibrium problems. So this is the today's topic. 
case you like my description please subscribe my channel please share my videos thank you very much